Hello, everyone. I want to put you through on QuickBook. I would start by saying QuickBook is an accounting software package that is used by medium and medium size and small scale businesses. So I'll start with creating a QuickBook. So right now to create a company. So I will skip the interview section. I will enter the complaints information. I put the legal name, the tax ID. Tax ID. Put your tax ID, the street address. You put your city, your state LA code, then the zip. You put your phone number, the company's phone number, then your email address, your website, the fax, then you click on next. How is your company organized? Is it a sole proprietorship? Is it a partnership? Is it a limited liability company? Is it a corporation? Is it a non-profit organization? Is it others? So I will click on others. And I will go to next. Then you're asking for the first month of financial year. So I'm going to choose January, but January is a month, the first month of financial year. Here we select an industry. Which industry do you belong to? Um, Quickbook can customize for us. Already we have the accounting and bookkeeping, advertising and public relations. We have agriculture, ranching and farming. We have the hard writing and photography. We have automotive, automotive sales and repair church, religion, organization, so on and so forth. So I click on next, I'll finish, I click on finish, then um, um, continue to see what it's going to be. I'm going to save um, my company. I'm going to save my company. Open file. So I'm creating a new company now. Okay. I've created a new company. So this is my overviews and setup. We have customers and sales. We have the vendors and expenses. We have the inventory. We have payroll and what's new. So I'll begin by using QuickBook. Click on begin using QuickBook. So this is a QuickBook um, menu. We have the home page. We have the icons there. The icons, the two by icons. There. So. I will click on my home page. You can see the vendors, customers, sales, enter bills. You come here, you see your company here. This is a company, we have the account, items and services, marketing tools. You have your banking. Is that you, when you record your deposits, your bank reconciliation, the right check. Right check is used for making payments. This is your check register. And you can print out from here. Then we start by going to the first um, icon here, which is customer center. We open the customer center. This is a customer center. This is where we put uh, any, any details that have to do with the customer. We can go to, we go to our jobs and customers and job. These are transactions. We have the estimate, sales order, invoices, statements, charges, sales receipt, receipt payments, credit memo, refunds. 
Then you want to enter a new customer. This is the new customer section. You put the name of the customer there. We have the opening balances. We have the company's name, the first name, the last name, addresses to who the, 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 the product was shipped to. We have the contacts, the phone numbers. We have the additional information of the customer. You can see the type the terms, representatives, and others. So after getting in all the information there, you have the payment section to jobs, then we can say, okay, we save it here. We save. Then we move to the, to the vendor section. Under the vendors, we have a new vendor. This is where we create a vendor. We put the vendor's name, the opening balances, we have the vendor's address, the name, the first name, name and address is the contact, the phone numbers. After we key all the information, we click on OK to see the prospective like vendor's information. Then we have the transactions there. Our transactions here, we have the bills we send to them, the bills payments to check, the credit card activities. So here we have the new transactions we can print from here, we can view the customer information. We can even export to Excel. We have our employee center. We can create a new employee here. This is to hire an employee. We have this is the employee, new employee information. We have, you can change it to personal or payroll and composition information, employment information. You keep all the information of the staff and the employee here. Then you click OK to save. So we have our transactions in the paycheck, the liability check, the, the liability adjustment, year to day adjustment, the non payroll transactions. We now move to the report center. Here in the report center, we have our company and financials. We have the customer receiving, we have the sales, we have job time and mileages, we have our um, vendors and payables, employees and payroll, we have the banking, we have um, accounts and sales and taxes, we have budgets and forecast list. So Honda our profit and loss, Honda our company financial, we have profit and loss, which is income statement, we have the standard details, year to day, year to date, previous and year comparison by job, by class, and unclassified. Under this section, we have the standard is for how much money did my company take or lose over a period, period of time. Then under the details, what are the year to date transactions for each income and expenses account so that I can determine what my country, like what's contributed to my company's net income. We have the year to date. How do my company and income expenses for the recent period of time compare to the entire fiscal year to date? Previous year comparison is, is like, is my company making more money now than the same period a year, a year ago? We have profit and loss by job. How much money is my company making or losing for this job. We have profit and loss by classification. How much money did my company take makes or loss on each business segment by striking through big book classes? We have the profit and loss by its own classified, which is how much money did my company take or lose that is not tracked through quick book classes. So after that, we have the income and expenses um, section. We have income by customer summary, income by income by um, customer detail, expenses by vendor summary, expenses by vendor details. We have income and expenses graph. So under income and expenses, under income by customer summary, what is the gross profit? As is sales minus the cost of goods to receive from each customer. That's Session with achieve that. Then income by customer details. What is the gross profit 
that is by sales minus cost of goods to that is broken down by transaction received from each customer. We have the expenses by vendor. What are my company's total expenses for each vendor? Expenses by vendor's details. What are my company's total expenses per transaction for each vendor? Income and expenses graph. What does my company's income compare to expenses? What are the largest source of my income and expenses? So we have the balance sheets and the net worth. We have the balance sheets and that we have the details, we have the summary, we have the previous year's comparison, we have the net worth graph. So the standard is talking about what is the value of my company's assets, liability, and equity, showing me the individual balance for each account. Details is what is the value of my company's asset liability and equity showing me the transactions and the starting and ending balances for each account. We have the summary. The summary is what is the value of the company? Its assets, its liability and equity showing me the total balances for each type of account. We have the previous year's comparison. How was the value of the company and my company, that is the assets, liability, and equity change compared to the same date of one year ago. We have the network, the network is talking about how as my company, my company's assets, and liability, and equity, as is the network change over a specific period of time. Then we have the cash flow. The cash flow states, we have the statement of cash flow and the cash flow forecast. The extent of cash flow, what was the cash flow from profits and additional cash received? And the cash of house flow, cash spent during the specific time, period of time. Then we have the cash flow forecast. What income and expenses can I anticipate over the next few weeks from receivable payables and banking. Then we have the other reports. We have the transaction reports, transaction details by account. These are the transactions for each account in my shuttle account. We have forecast uh, overview. What are my company's forecast income and expenses for each month? You must have a forecast set of before you can, you can display this report. It is not a prompt set in all sets. So we need to create a forecast first before this section can be put in use. So then I want to take you through the reason. The files. Here is where we can open a new company. We can open as many as possible. We have a new complaint. We have open and restore complaint. We have open previous complaints. We have a um, uh, backup. We have complaint, close complaint. We have switch to multiple user. This way you can switch to, because we have, people can use like three, five to 20, more than that users. Then we have the utility. This way you import and export. Uh, from Excel to QuickBook and other things. We have the accounts, accountants copy here. Yeah. This way the accountants create their own copies. We have print, we can print, we can use other functions here. So I'll move to edit. Here we can cut and paste, use a register, use calculator, we can find. Then we have our preferences here. Our preferences is what we use in day to day way of uh, QuickBook. We have the accounting, you can choose what you want. We have my preference, we have a complaints preference. Um, we have the bills, we change, you can add or remove anything you want there. We have to check in the desktop views, what you want, the, how you want the equipment to be handled. We have the financial charges, we have the general, we have contributed applications, items, and the uh, inventories. We have the job and estimate payrolls and employees, reminders, reports, and graph. 
sales and customer sales tax sent bonds receive service collection spendings and so on and so forth so we move to have a bill okay we move to bill we have the open window list the navigation bar the icon bar customized icon bar we have one window the multiple window here we use multiple window so we have a list this is where we can get we have our shadow accounts before you can make use of people need to input all your shadow accounts your income your expenses your liability and others then before you can use your shadow account we have the item list and you need to put the item list the these assets item list you put your uh, price level list other names list customers and vendor public list profile list we have the templates memorized transaction list under our company here, we have the home page, we have the complex information, the purpose of which I enter just like this there. You can see there, we have the complex information. We have, um, we have advanced service administrator, we have the most, we have the user here. This is where you set up the user, you set up your user and the rules, you can view the users. Here you can change your password, you can set closing dates for the system. We can we have the planning and budgeting here. We set up a budget, we set up a forecast, your cash flow projection, we use your business plan tools, we have decision tools here. Um, to do list reminders and uh, alert manager, shout of accounts, we have the general journal, we have managed fees assets, enter vehicle uh, manage, we have prepare envelopes. We have so many handles the collection, the customer letters, we have a vendor letter, we have employee letter, letter to others. We can customize the letter here. So then we move to the customers. Customer, we have the customer center, which I've shown you previously. Here you can you can create an estimate, you create your sales order, you can create your receipt. Okay, let me show you what create estimate is. This is how to create your estimates. Let's create an estimate. We put the customer's name, the address. We enter the items, the description, quantity, the rate, amount, the markup, and the total. Then I'll move to the next one, which is the create a sales invoice here. We can put the customer's name, we put the item, the description, the order, the rates, and the amount. We can save and close. They are moved to the next um, item, which is create invoice. This is our invoice. This is where we create an invoice. The invoice is for people, it's for customer that doesn't pay instantly. They come and they will give them the invoice. It puts all the information, all the information, the, the, their sales details, the item, the quantity, the prescription, the save and close. Then I move to the next item, which is an uh, enter statement charges. Enter seven charges. You can't enter because there's nothing on the system right now. The new, new company. Um, we put, um, we have the access financial charges. We have received, received payment. Receipt payment is uh, a receipt for collection. After issuing an invoice, we use this customer. We use this receipt for receiving payment from, from a customer then we move to we move to uh, a credit memo we create a credit memo credit memo is for refunds we want to refund a particular product or want to refund a particular item we use reforms we have add credit card processing we have the enter time item list and change items so we move to our vendor here. We have the vendor center. We have the vendor rated online. We have enter bills. If we if we, if, if we are received a product from a vendor, this is where we keep the information. We put the vendor's name, the address, the, the memo. We have the dates, the records, the amount, so then the bill, the, the bill the, that really this is the date that is. I just forced to pay the bills, but pay the bill. 
So here we put the account head, we put the amount of the new, we save and close. Here we have the pay bills. This is where we pay the bills from. There's nothing on the account. That's why it's not showing anything. Or something. We had an account. So you had a new account. So and then we can pay. We can't pay now without accounts. So we have from print and the rest. So I move to uh, the employee center. This is the employee center. Uh, we have enter time. We have employee organizer. We have the payroll. Under the payroll, you can see. But we can't use payroll on this cookbook except we subscribe for it. So we have the banking here, section here. We have um, write check, order checks and envelope. We have enter credit card charges. We have we have a use register. We make deposit. We can transfer fund. This is where we reconcile. Um, this is online banking. We can set up our banking account to the bank. We have the loan manager for the mailing list. Then here we have a report center. These are the reports we need to generate for people. We have the report center. We have memorized reports. Here we have the accountants, banking companies, everything has to use for this. Then we have our multiple process, multiple reports, financial system designer. Combine reports from multiple companies. We have the company of financials. In that company of financials, we have the profit and loss standard, profit and loss details. We have the uh, profit and loss yet to days, and so on and so forth. Under our customer guys, we have the aging, the customer details, so on and so forth. Anything we need to get is there. So we have under our sales, our sales by customer summary. We have sales by customer details. We have sales by item summary. Sales by item details, so on and so forth. Then we have the job and manage. We have the vendors and payables. We have the aging summary, aging details. We have employee and employee and payroll. We have um, banking, under the bank, you can see the deposit, the sale, check details, we say using check, because the consideration is the party. We have the accountant and taxes. We have the budget of the casting. We have the list. We have customer summary, a custom summary report. We have custom transaction details. We can do the quick report here. We have Transactional history, transaction history and transaction journal. Then we move to the next one, which is um, um, we have the icon. This is the icon navigation bar. Let me close this one. Let me close this one. The last one on the list is the help. It's the help um, section. So thank you very much. Bye.